Now, it's not a very exciting time right now for businesses. People are losing their jobs. Uh, some are getting laid off and all. And so not very exciting time as we speak. And you're wondering, is this a good time for me to save or not? For me to invest as well or not? Uh, because the stock market is not looking good. The city is not doing well. The oil sector is almost non-existent. So what do I do in times like these? If you have any investment advice you can share with us this morning, we'll read and share with the rest of the world. I've been joined in studio by uh, Kinsley Hayford, who is a chartered accountant and investment and tax advisor to help us with this discussion. Good morning. Good morning. So what's your general you know, uh, perception of uh, the investment sector around times like this? Yeah, thank you. I think... The market has gone through its own challenges, given even the global pandemic. Mm -hmm. You have no option because other developed economics are face similar. Other global stock markets are not working well. Mm -hmm. And so the repercussions is not different from Ghana. Okay. Clearly, the, the stock market, for instance, year to this has returned in terms of GSC composite index, about eight, minus 8.8%. And then also the financial index is also doing minus 7.07%. Mm -hmm. And then even the market capitalization, meaning the total value of companies listed have, mm -hmm. they've lost almost minus 3.3% thereabouts. Okay. So clearly things are flat. Mm -hmm. But it's also an opportunity for people to look at the market because when prices are low, mm -hmm. there's a time to go in and also get some level of investment there. Okay. But we'll, I'll go further in it when mm -hmm. it comes to how people can restructure okay. their investment. So, so let's talk about uh, where to invest or what to invest in. I mean, is it actually a good time to invest at all? You, sort, you looked at, you said, looking at the market, are you looking at the stock market? Generally, there is also other aspects. You know, we also have the collective investment scheme market okay. where we have the mutual funds. Averagely, they are, some of them have returned negative as well as the equity funds mm -hmm. because it's also linked to the stock market. But with the money market funds and the rest, some of them between 1% to about 6 to 6.7% mm -hmm. there about, mm -hmm. about 6%. Mm -hmm. And then compared to inflation, mm -hmm. which is around 78 there about, if you look at the, the return on those areas, as again inflation, it means that you cannot meet your consumption expenditure in terms of the change in prices. Mm -hmm. Normally, when it comes to interest rates, it's a component of inflation and rare return, meaning that if inflation is 7.8 mm -hmm. and you are getting maybe 10%, mm -hmm. it means that you are above the inflation and you can still buy and still live normally. Mm -hmm. But now, with the collective investment scheme, you, you see clearly that the returns from that sector is giving less than the 7%, which is not the normal situation now. So you can get the return from those investments and it will affect even the, your consumption because... You remember the COVID prices actually changed. People were doubling prices and it's just an unhealthy environment as at the time. Okay. But we hope that the situation will return normal when production increases in there from the agriculture side to be able to do that. But given all that is in the market, treasury bill is doing around 14% thereabouts. Okay. So that looks exciting. And then the banks are also doing some fixed deposits which is also lower than the treasury bill, actually, when you go. Mm -hmm. But this is a time that I always will look at people doing restructuring of their investment. Okay. Whilst companies are restructuring their investment, government is also restructuring its growth rate. We okay. have seen growth rate being revised from 6% to... So, so if you're saying restructuring generally their investment, so that, for instance, I save with um, a particular bank yeah. and I've bought some shares there, if you're saying I should restructure... What, what I mean, do you mean by restructuring? Generally, we, we, we hope that you have a portfolio. You okay. have some, you bought some shares, you bought some treasury bill, you bought some mutual funds, and that is your portfolio okay. of investment that you have. Okay. At this point, you need to look at liquidity as a key point. Still looking at the short term and medium term, still focusing on the long term. Liquidity as in, am I getting returns from the investment? For example, if I want to redeem the investment, mm -hmm. can I get it back? Because at this point, you know, the essential goods and services are critical, food, okay, okay. and it's about cash. And when we went to the lockdown, you realized that cash was a major deal. Mm -hmm. And so those who had invested in some capital expenditures 
could not use those access to buy. For example, you have the latest bands. I doubt whether anybody will take your, your bands for food. Mm -hmm. If you are sick, I don't know whether you can go and say, this is my bands, mm -hmm. give me injection. Mm -hmm. It's about cash. So liquidity is key in your investment portfolio. But okay. you need to structure such a way that some portions of your investment are more liquid that you can redeem around that. And then at the same time, you should look at the medium term mm -hmm. and then look at the long term, which I believe that most of us will retire, mm -hmm. whether you like it or, or not. not. Again, we will die as adults, and so we need to give some inheritance to our children. So mm -hmm. in your investment planning now, you should be careful not to focus on the fact that I want to consume everything. Mm -hmm. Structure it, the short the medium and the long term goals. Yeah, well, people are structure. uncertain. I mean, we live in an uncertain times. We don't know when coronavirus is going to leave us. That's why people are worried. I mean, should I spend all I have now? Should I not spend? But we are asking, for instance, let's get practical. Maybe I lose my job and my employer says, uh, we are giving you 1,000 cities as your take home. What do I do with the 1,000? Because I want to be able to stay, you know, stay alive. So how do I how do I manage that one thousand? At this point, I have something I call the bare bone budget. The bare bone budget, meaning that look at your expenditure, remove all the unnecessary expenditures, the, the wants, take it out and leave the necessities. Come to food, detergent, toiletries, mm -hmm. and your medical bills. Mm -hmm. Focus on that. So take away all other things that are not really necessary. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if you don't spend on them, nothing will happen to you. Mm -hmm. This is not a time to go and buy the latest shirt or the shoe. You have to cut them off. Make use of what you have and watch the market slowly. Mm -hmm. And then use what you have at this point to be able to feed yourself. Again, this is also the time, especially when you are going home mm -hmm. with your 1,000 Ghana CD. Mm -hmm. You need to know, what can I do with the 1,000? After doing your budget, if you can even sell something just in front of your house, start. Mm -hmm. You can also take a temporary job. Mm -hmm. You may have a friend who is to maybe bakery. Mm -hmm. and you can say, look, can I come there and just join you, come and support you? Maybe coming home, you get a loaf of bread for the family. For the family. This is a time to do some temporary jobs. Mm -hmm. Connect to people and find out if there's something to be done so that you don't become ideal. Because the point is that when you, you get this firing or go home situation. It's mm -hmm. quite emotional. Mm -hmm. And if you are not careful, you'll be stressed out. And you remember this COVID-19 is about immune system mm -hmm. boosting. Mm -hmm. And when you are stressed, mm -hmm. it affects your immune system. Mm -hmm. And your chances of com com coming across or coming having to contact with the disease, virus is high. you repeat mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. you, the doctor was just saying that they tried as much as well to improve your immune system mm -hmm. to fight it. So mm -hmm. basically, we expect people to look at alternative business activity that they can engage. The simple ones. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it to the people. This one is, has not been to school mm -hmm. or this job because I have an MBA and this. I cannot do this. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's about food. Mm -hmm. it, there's not like qualification. Mm -hmm. You need to eat. And so, and I, I've said several times on some platform that mm -hmm. when you feel shy, you can't create wealth. Mm -hmm. Anybody with shyness cannot create wealth. Before so, you come to mm -hmm. wealth, mm -hmm. it's quite rough. You have to work hard, do what is necessary, do what is legal, and make sure that you can create some level of work to keep the family going. So you need to do something. Mm -hmm. Check your environment, check your environment, and see mm -hmm. what is it that you can do. Mm -hmm. Something later to be able to get some additional income or use the 1000 to do. Mm -hmm. That can generate something for you to still yeah, survive. But can, so can you be specific on what I can invest in? I mean, if there's anything COVID-19 has taught us, it's taught us to be self-sufficient so that we can rely on ourselves. So that, for instance, I don't have much. You were talking about restructuring our investment. So for someone who doesn't have any investment at all right now, what I have is maybe just some small cash in my hand. How do I invest that? You know, and, and in, in, in what specifically? See, at this point, if with the little you have, mm -hmm. if I say go and buy a treasury bill, mm -hmm. then I will not help you. Why? You, you see, I will prefer that, yes, keep some small amount in your bank account. Then what is left, you should start something with it. Mm -hmm. Go, you're at home. Start something so mm -hmm. that you can multiply. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, that's a little situation, but there are some with some sizable amount of okay, cash. Okay. And so the opportunities available. For example, the agriculture is a major area 
which COVID-19 is proving that we need to look at whether we can start our own businesses. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs need to emerge at this point. So, so I think it's a, it's an area it's a key to area to. because my, my research shows that about 60% of our land is uncultivated in Africa. And so therefore the land is key, it is good. Again, the population is heading between 7 billion to 8 billion there about. So but what if I don't have access to land? I mean, that's a key uh, requirement to start if something. There are two ways to have in land. Okay. Either you buy it or you lease. Okay. And so you can also partner mm -hmm. with a colleague. Mm. So these are the bigger picture I want people to look at. And to be part of the agri revolution that the government and policy in terms of running for food and jobs. Mm -hmm. Again, this is area for the tree crop development. Mm -hmm. There we have the coffee, the palm oil, and coconut oil, which is fetching very well. For example, mm -hmm. as of 2016 December, mm -hmm. when the, the coconut oil was going for $720 per metric ton. Mm -hmm. And then the palm oil was going for $769 per metric ton. That's as lot. against the oil which was going for $63 per bar, crude oil, yeah. $63 mm. dollars per bar. So mm. the question I ask myself, mm -hmm. why is government focused on the oil? Mm -hmm. Whilst we can have the coconut and palm oil fetching $720, mm -hmm. $720 for the coconut and $769 per metric ton of oil, mm -hmm. the palm oil. Mm -hmm. Now, Vietnam mm -hmm. got $6.7 mm -hmm. from palm oil alone. Mm -hmm. And then Singapore, 16 Point eight billion dollars mm -hmm. from that alone, and if government of Ghana focuses and deliver the objective for rain for food and jobs and mm -hmm. the tree crop development, mm -hmm. and it's delivered well, it can turn the economy around. The oil will just be a bonus mm -hmm. issue, and so so I'm, agric is one sector I, I, we can. It's, it's exciting in. there okay. in terms of cashew, yeah. in terms of mango, coconut, palm How oil. How about the, the 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 IT sector? I'm sure right now COVID nineteen is helping us to do Zoom and all those use all those apps. Is there a, a time for us to start you know developing apps or investing in in IT? I think this is the exciting time in the history of Ghana, mm -hmm. and I will look forward for the IT young people and those who are into IT to develop different types of arts, apps to solve problems. Mm -hmm. You see, it's the issue of solving a problem. I wish the gentleman who created the Zoom was a Ghanaian. <laughs> and this is where you expect that we should create, mm -hmm. we should be dreaming, we should be thinking, mm -hmm. because the mind does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And you, you'll be shocked once you put the mind to it, you can get it done. Mm -hmm. And so IT is a major, major deal here. Mm -hmm. And I look forward for a lot of new, new technologies to support that. Again, mm -hmm. those who go into trading mm -hmm. in, in terms of phones and computers, accessories, mm -hmm. it's a major because you, you need to connect the IT, the apps to all those things. Mm -hmm. And again, I think there's another area called the, the fast moving consumer goods because a research conducted by McKenzie group of, group of institutions to the standard by 2013, mm -hmm. about the expenditure of the middle class will hit almost $1 trillion. Mm -hmm. And the middle class in Africa is hovering around 300 million people. Mm -hmm. That means that when it comes to food, beverage, home care, and personal product, it's going to be a major deal. And okay. this middle class wants this service. So I look forward to people taking advantage of this opportunity to enter the fast-moving consumer goods mm -hmm. because again, production, you mean? Yes, okay. there's a production part mm -hmm. of it. There's mm -hmm. a because wholesale. now we can't import anyway. There's a production, but the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. is going to help in mm -hmm. some of the home care product. Mm -hmm. Again, when it comes to food, agri will support in mm -hmm. terms of converting. Mm -hmm. Yes, the restaurants are down, but they need to develop a different model of okay. working, mm -hmm. delivering food to people than people come to sit. Mm -hmm. But we look forward by June, maybe when the president would have announced that the, the, the restriction, reduce it, mm -hmm. we'll come back to the consumption and sitting somewhere and eating. Mm -hmm. But the fast moving consumer goods have spaces there. We mm -hmm. have the manufacturer, mm -hmm. we have the wholesale and the retailers. Mm -hmm. So you need to plug yourself mm -hmm. in any of the rules mm -hmm. and then you make your money. Mm -hmm. And so that is quite exciting area. Again, there's a bigger picture called the infrastructure. Research by the World Bank 2008 mm -hmm. shows that. Africa will need $80 billion annually to fix its infrastructure. $80 billion. Annually. That's huge. Which means that in terms of power supply, water, and also the sector that... So it means that government has limited resources. Mm -hmm. So we need a private businessman in Ghana to team up mm -hmm. to start some power projects. Mm -hmm. 
water supply and railway system. Mm -hmm. And this is where there are big opportunities. See, I'm talking to both those who have little and, and then the big corporate players, institutions, yeah, and combinations. Like so yeah. there's huge opportunity in this sector. So how about real estate? Is it a good time to maybe buy a land or buy a house? Is it a good time if I have an investment I feel is not doing so well? Is it a good time to invest in real estate? Two, two things here. Mm -hmm. If you are looking at your retirement, then at this point, that's as a restructure. Okay. Make sure liquidity is key, mm -hmm. that you have enough liquid to address the short and the medium. Mm -hmm. And then you also plan for the long, the long term. term. So mm -hmm. it can be done based on your, the restructuring of your plan, okay. your personal plan. Okay. You see, government is restructuring, mm -hmm. business are restructuring, mm -hmm. and then individual is restructuring. Remember the economy. Is made of the households. Mm -hmm. What the individual decisions are taking, the economic decision we are taking mm -hmm. becomes the government decision. Mm -hmm. the someone, economic... some, someone was saying that, I mean, if this uh, lockdown had lingered for a while, we may have gotten maybe a directive from the president saying landlords should give rent for free for a while. So maybe real estate is not, you know, what to invest in around this. I don't know what you think. Well, it could have been a good one because everybody mm -hmm. needs to leave. Mm -hmm. Again, to me, at this point, if you don't have a place to stay, Mm -hmm. then you need to get a house. But then, what you are putting in, you have to weigh. Should I invest in it? Do I have excess cash to, so leave? to support? These are you. questions that you need to address. Mm -hmm. But notwithstanding that, mm -hmm. to build a house does not mean that go and do four bedroom, mm -hmm. go and do six bedroom. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Okay. You can have a whole land. You can put up a whole and chamber on it mm -hmm. and go and live in. Mm -hmm. Not three or four bedrooms. So, there's nothing wrong having okay. a building, but you need to start from somewhere. So, so, so let's let's talk about restructuring beef as we wrap up. Yeah. I mean, your 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 company, N Street Finance, you help businesses to restructure and just to to add uh, the uh, insolvency uh, and restructuring act that was assented to by the president. How can businesses take advantage of that? And also, how can your institution help in restructuring companies or businesses who want to restructure in times like these? I think it's important that businesses need to sit down to look at where they are at this point mm -hmm. and then put up the necessary rescue plan for their own firm and then be able to pick it up from there. Again, there's something I call the shared profit, the shared vision, which should be the lead issue when it comes to restructuring, mm -hmm. meaning that meet the workers, let them have a shared vision to grow the company at the same time, shared profit, mean, meaning that when the company makes profit, they must also enjoy mm -hmm. So this is time for sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Some pay cuts will come. Mm -hmm. Some may go home. Some will be paid. But we need to look at the collective bargaining agreement and mm -hmm. how best within the, the labor law mm -hmm. and then also the insolvency act all combined so that you work within the framework of the law mm -hmm. to be able to restructure and get the company back on track. With the restructure, the insolvency act, it gives the company the space. Okay. For example, creditors need to hold on after a meeting agreed by the company and the, uh, the appointing person to act as the lead restructuring person mm -hmm. so that there's that space for the company to organize itself properly. And these are things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. Some company may not go into the insolvency act generally mm -hmm. to be able to benefit, but it's a matter of coming up with, with a plan okay. to be able to, government is doing that, we expect business to do and individual have to do that. With Anstreet Finance, we provide tax and financial advisory services okay. for people and also to restructure your business as well. So. And then for individuals who finances are in bad shape, we do something special for you on your financial planning. And that you can resolve and get out and succeed. Let us remember that this COVID-19 mm -hmm. does not mean that eat all your eggs. Okay. If you want to some. die, mm -hmm. maybe the old one will die and the young one will die. But leave some for your generation. Yes. It's Thank you, important. Kinsley. We are grateful that you made time to speak with us this morning. Kinsley Hayford is a, a, a chartered accountant, a financial uh, investment and tax analyst or advisor. And he's just helping. And he's with N Street Finance and they help with restructuring of businesses. And so if you have any concerns with how to restructure your business at time in times like these, you know. And he's, all, he's also advising us to invest in the agri sector and also in IT in times like this. So hope you pick the thing or two.